What's going on guys? So today we're going to be talking about TikTok and how to boost the quality of your TikToks. So let's jump into it. The number one thing that I would definitely suggest is go into your TikTok settings and turn off data saver because it's going to slow down the data speed and transfer of files. The next thing is to turn on HD video when you're uploading a TikTok. I'll show you how to do this in the TikTok settings so you have a better idea of how to access this because by default it might be turned off just to save your battery power as well as data because who wants to upload like a two gigabyte file if you only have 10 gigs of data. The next thing that I personally do is I use my camera for this. I don't use my phone camera because the quality on an SLR camera is just so much better than your phone camera for obvious reasons, as well as I use a 15 to 35 millimeter lens to record the videos is what I'm shooting on currently. And this is just gonna give you the best quality as well as you can get that blurry back background and make your subject pop out a little bit more on TikTok. After you film your TikTok and you dump all your footage onto a computer or maybe you transfer it to your phone if that's all you have, import all your content into a project on say Final Cut or Premiere Pro. The key thing to do here is you have to make your project vertical size, which would be 1920 by 1080, and that'll give you a long video format instead of recording everything sideways. That'll make the best possible quality, and that is the ratio that TikTok uses. Then when you're done, you just export it, upload it to your phone as always, and then just upload it as a normal TikTok. I would definitely suggest you get a tripod because nobody likes shaky video. It's just gonna add a little bit more of that professional look to your videos. If the camera's just sitting down somewhere, you don't really need a lot of movement. You don't have to go out and buy an actual tripod. Maybe try to get something where you can prop up the camera on, like maybe some books or a table, but nobody really wants to see that shake if it's not necessary. The next thing up is lighting, and this is probably one of the most important things to worry about. Like, yes, you might be up late at night and wanted to film a TikTok, yes, go ahead, but the issue is if people can't really see what you're filming, then what's the point of filming it at all if people really can't tell? what it is that they're looking at. There's ways around this, like, yes, you could just film during the day, which using natural light, which is the cheapest, obviously. If that's not an option, you're filming inside, try to get some lighting that looks good. If your place is too dark, maybe you could go to the dollar store, pick up a small little LED bulb, and you could shine that through like a bed sheet. You don't have to go out and buy a professional ring light or a professional softbox or anything like that. There's people who get away with bare minimum. You could just honestly pick up a small little LED, shine it through maybe like a piece of paper or something along those lines to give you a little bit more light if you're lacking in that department. Because when you shoot in the dark, it also has more grain than if you had more light to start with. And that's how you kind of boost a little bit more of the quality because a grainy video versus a video without grain is probably gonna look a lot worse than the video with no grain. If you're filming something with audio, say you're talking or something like that, try to get some better audio. Maybe that is attaching a mic to your camera or using your Apple headphones or whatever phone you're using, headphones that come in the box, or maybe you have Bluetooth headphones. That will be a better quality audio than just the audio on your phone, especially the further you get away from the camera or your phone, then the audio is just gonna get decreased and decreased over distance. Having better audio will make your video sound a lot better because if people can't hear what you're saying, what's the point? The next thing is to go into your actual camera settings on your phone and make sure that you're not filming in 720. If your camera allows you to 
film in 1080, then that's more ideal because it's gonna be a bigger file, which is more quality, and it's just gonna look that much better. I would even say you could film in 4K, and then I guess TikTok is gonna down res that to 1080, which in return is gonna look a lot better because there's gonna be more detail in those shots. It's just gonna be a better quality video in my opinion. Don't let all this camera talk discourage you because you don't need, say, a $2,000 camera or a $500 lens or a $100 microphone to film TikToks. Like, your phone is perfectly fine at doing this. The best camera is the one you have with you, so if you only have, you know, your cell phone, then that should be perfectly fine, but just try to consider some of these tips on, like, lighting and audio. Maybe this will help you film better TikToks or better quality TikToks. TikToks. Happy TikToking and leave your TikTok ads in the comments below and I'll definitely check them out. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. It does help. And until the next video, peace.